What are you making me? Taco pie. What is taco pie? It's like a taco. You guys, okay, listen, I know you see videos of me and my mom and we're cute, but really, this is the mastermind behind how we eat so well. When you're here. Don't let anyone you fool eat well you. at home. Oh, no, but I get, I, I text you things. <laughs> like, Lauren, what do I make about this? Or, Lauren, what do I add into this ingredient? She's a mastermind. And do you want to tell them what happened this morning when you woke up? You crossed under something. You get a whoosh. Oh, I whoosh. She whoosh. I whoosh. She whoosh. I had a big whoosh. Hey, tell them about your whoosh. We I... all need to know. I don't think I've been in the 150s since high school. Look at how tiny she is. Oh, cute. I weighed myself this morning, which I haven't weighed myself in like four or five days, and I was 157. And that, I don't remember the last time Yay! I was in the 150s. So, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm very excited. Okay, so, anyways, I had to show you guys what she's making me tonight because she told me it was easy, which I know we all need easy with how busy life is. So tell me what is happening over so here. I'm actually going to flip it, okay. and you're going to be on camera. So everybody probably has ground beef and, like, taco seasoning in their house mm -hmm. for Taco Tuesday. Well, today's Taco Monday. <laughs> so um, I, I just sauteed up some ground beef, drained the fat off, um, because it really gets greasy when you, when you don't drain it. I know we want the fat, but it gets too greasy if you don't do it. And then I put the taco seasoning on and, um, you know, did it the way the package instructs, and then I'm, I'm kind of letting that cool a little bit and over here we have a gorgeous mixture of heavy cream eggs green onions cheese and salsa oh just canned jarred salsa um you know good full fat heavy cream and we are going to mix this in put it in a baking dish cheese on top and bake it and it's this crustless taco pie i will pin the um recipe down below after this video is done because it is the best so and it's so easy I've watched it's so you. easy we just you saute up the meat put the taco seasoning on mix this up throw it together and, and bake it do you grease the pan or yes you, you grease okay. the pan i spray it with like um olive oil spray or avocado oil that's my daughter <laughs> and um and then it comes out and it like holds its shape when you cut into it and you scoop it out to put it on your plate it doesn't just bleh everywhere it really holds its <laughs> shape. one more time it doesn't no Come on. No, you can watch it on the replay. One more time. Hashtag replay. Um, it doesn't bleh. Yeah. So um, it really holds its shape because there's a lot of eggs in here, but it's not egg-like like a quiche. Ooh, so nice. you really get like this taco-ness flavor without um, any of the carbs, and it's absolutely delicious. So it's become a favorite. Jason and I have been on keto since like January, February, and he said when, we, when I made this, he goes, this is like the first time I've had real Mexican food since being on Ooh. keto because it's that authentic to a like traditional beef taco. So it's a favorite it. in our house. So we are going right, to so just heavy whipping cream, cheese, salsa, beef. meat, and she's gonna mix it all in. We'll just um, dump this in. Sorry, in. I'm on the wrong side. No, you're good. Ooh, look at that. Lovely. And I don't have my pan out or grease yet, so we're just gonna mix it all together. And you could, if you have like leftover, if you have enough leftover taco meat or something, this would be a super easy way. So you're a stay at home to, mom of two. Yes. And Oops, you you believe that keto can be easy. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's been the easiest. That looks so good. Right? That looks like Look a at it. Look at it. It looks like a like a rotel. Bit. I know. I wouldn't <laughs> eat it like this because there are well, raw, eggs raw eggs and <laughs> heavy cream, but. Once it bakes up, it just kind of puffs up, but there's no like egg quiche-like consistency. It's just fabulous. Got it. Uh, and you, okay, so here's oh, the other yeah. thing about this dish. You can totally make it your own. You can add bell peppers. I've added diced green chilies. I've done a chicken and diced green chilies, like what, almost Ooh. like a white um, casserole. You can add whatever you want, veg, extra veggies. Um, you can change up the meat. It's just like super, super versatile, so. Well, they're saying it looks yummy. Oh, someone else made it and it's delicious. Yes. So we're gonna give you guys the review of the keto taco pie. Taco pie. Baby's excited to eat some, some taco pie, okay? And I just have a confession. I didn't eat in and out for lunch today. I was gonna try to do a week in a row and we decided, you know, today. I could, but I didn't have to. So, uh, and we love you guys. Hope you're doing great. 
Okay, bye. Keto can be simple, easy, satisfying, and sustaining. Just know that if you have a recipe that you love, you could probably find those ingredients, alter them, and make your favorite dish. So I hope you guys are having a great evening. Uh, post your favorite, hmm, this is a good question. Post your favorite casserole dish below, whether it's keto or not, and then we can uh, adjust the recipe if you need help. So make sure that you post that below, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.